All right, the baseball owners have universally voted to allow the A's to skip town, and this has got to be the biggest con in sports history because the owner of the Oakland A's, John Fisher, actively orchestrated perceived apathy in the market, and the con is that most of the national media believes it, even though this is an artificially created apathy. You see, John Fisher bought the team 20 years ago nearly and never signed a free agent, didn't re-sign his own talent, didn't invest in the stadium. And so people will talk about the eroding, decrepit Oakland Coliseum. Fisher actively sought that. Why would any A's fan, why would any fan in general attend a ballpark, go to a game, pay money, to go to a place that's falling down for a team that the owner tried to make bad. Think about that for a second. John Fisher actively sought a last place team the last two years, never looked for an improved stadium experience at the Oakland Coliseum, and then the A's fans are blamed for not showing up, and thus the evidence that they had to move. And I look at a guy like Stephen A. Smith on ESPN who helped break the news and said, I don't know what the problem is in Oakland, but if you've lost three teams, it's your fault. That's the con right there. That's the con. I don't know what it is, but if you've lost three teams, well, number one, all three teams are completely different. Mark Davis was handed a multi-billion dollar stadium sight unseen and said, you want it? And he said, yeah, okay. For the Golden State Warriors, they didn't leave the market. They simply moved within the same market to the other side of the bay for a glitzy downtown arena. But that wasn't about leaving the Bay Area as a fan base, as an entrepreneurial hub here in the States of a population center. The A's are leaving without the guarantees of a billion dollar palace with a retractable roof, that's not even set in stone yet. They also aren't leaving to go to San Francisco to stay within this population hub with all of this wealth in Silicon Valley. They're leaving for Vegas, a smaller market. They don't have the guarantee of a fan base. They don't have any guarantees of anything and John Fisher is acting like, well, we can't get it done here. It's a completely different situation, completely, than the previous two. So anybody that lumps the A's move in with the other two aren't paying attention and are buying the con. Well, see, nobody cares about baseball in the Bay Area, and they didn't do enough. Well, look, I'm not saying that there's no responsibility from the city government of Oakland but I also would prefer my city government not to just hand out billions of dollars to owners that haven't earned that trust. John Fisher didn't earn a dime of his billions, none. He was handed the gap from mommy and daddy. Mommy and daddy built the empire known to the gap, gave it to him, and what's he got to, to say about it? He hasn't done a damn thing. Not a damn thing to prove that he is worthy of your billions of dollars. So no, this isn't the same. And no, you cannot blame Oakland. And yes, John Fisher is a cartoonishly evil owner, maybe just an idiot owner, much like Major League, the movie, where you're trying to sink the team's interest so that you can move the team. And that's the con. That's always been the con. Well, there's possums running the press box. Yeah, because the owner had no interest in cleaning the press box. There is no reason to leave that market. There is no reason to go to the smallest market in Major League Baseball. There is no reason to not know where you're going to play the next couple of years. Or if you're going to have to play in the middle of the crazy desert heat for multiple summers. But John Fisher won the con and no this quote in the ESPN.com article, the owners voted unanimously to allow John Fisher to move the team. And an owner, when asked why you would leave one of the largest markets in America with all of that wealth and that huge population base, said it doesn't make much sense. And yet the owners voted unanimously. 
They all know. They all know that this is a shell game. But they're going along with it. And for that, Rob Manfred and all the owners should be ashamed. I ain't quitting on this. This thing isn't over. You stay right here. I will keep fighting this fight for A's fans. Last dive bar. Let's have a drink. Rally possums. Let's do this. This thing ain't over.